Okay, so another rough and ready video this morning. Um, got these things from a German company in the UK. Well, they're in Germany, I'm in the UK. AZ Delivery. Got it off Amazon. Dirt cheap. I think three was about twenty pounds. Uh, thirty thirty pounds, about ten pounds each. And I got one for me, one for a good friend of mine, and one we can keep when we travel around. Yeah. And basically, what's nice about this particular thing is that AZ Delivery don't just dump you in it. You get a little QR code takes you to their website and then it gives you some idea of the uh, how to yeah so what they do is they piggyback off the back of this say sale I can't say that com which is trial software but later on one would be building this sig rock okay um, and it gives you some idea of how to install it so you install the software that gets you the drivers what the drivers look like uh, you see we have this thing here, Sally Logic Analyzer, so it's managed to find the device uh, once you plug it in. So, so install all this software first, plug the device in, and then start the software. It looks like this. So what we're doing now, we've got it connected to the Arduino pins 2 and 3. And I was using that earlier in an earlier video to send quadrature pulses. So now what I've done is I can say open, uh, cr create a new session, and I've got I don't know what pins got it plugged in, but let's find out. I now capture, start capture, and now you see it should be seeing there. Quadrature coming through, boom, 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 boom. So I'm not sure what's on this channel three yet. Oh yeah, there's nothing to do with me. I suppose it's a. Well, I don't know what it is to be honest. I'm not plugged in there, so I'm only plugged into channel four and five at the minute. And now you can see the quadratures. Well, there seems to be some spikes, and it might be the analyzer's not very good at the minute. I don't know, so it's not quite right what it's doing. Uh, those look good because those are out of phase. I'm not sure what those dots are. So now we can capture, stop the capture. Um, yeah, I think that worked. Um, and then it gives us some idea of the timings. And at the very least, you can see that what's happening is that this wave on channel, channel 5 is what I got it wired plugged into, is dropping down. This one waits a, a period and then goes, well, he's up, yeah. So let me see. Oh, there we are. Look, it's like that. Look, let's just scroll along a bit, scroll back a bit. Oh, you can scroll out and in. Maybe there's a slide. You know, a slider's here. So let's go back here. So something interesting is happening here. That wave goes up whilst that one comes down. He goes down. There's a gap. He goes up. So maybe I've got my timings a little bit wrong. Uh, I still don't understand what's happening on this channel three because, as far as I know, nothing's plugged in there yet. Yes, it might be a ghost in the machine. But the point is that I can begin to look at the quadratures now. Um, I've got the other gear. I'll be doing a video about that. And I'm still trying to work out. Uh, also for this company, I bought a series of ESP32s. Um, that gives us Bluetooth. Uh, I use an ESP32, but I've got about three of them. I'll give one to my friend again. I'll keep two of them. And I might use them to piggyback into each other via serial communication and use one of them for doing certain set of pins and other do the other. And then I can send messages between them and, and, and send the Bluetooth out, whether it be Bluetooth MIDI or presumably just to do page turners and things like that. Anyway, that's where I am with this nice little fun... Oh, the device. Let me show you the device. Hang on. Uh, can I show you the device? I can. Hold up. Let me pause this a second and show you the device. There. So there it is there. And the Arduino is doing its fang. And this is just going in via two pins. I could probably count the channels. Yeah, the channels, like when it says channel 0 on here, it's actually channel 1, but it doesn't really matter. That's the company there, and they send you the QR code there. Oops, giving it away. Um, and, yeah, so that's that. What I'll be doing is following the next tutorial, give me a second, which is here. Someone, so I'm either going to try and build SIGROCK on Linux, but I quite like what this guy's done here on WSL, which is a Windows... So there's the Sigrock stuff, which is open source and free, and they have nightly builds. I've just downloaded that. I haven't tried it yet. And then there's this guy here who has got a lot of information about what he's done, what went wrong, and how he got it to work under Microsoft WSL. And I've got a more powerful computer in the other room, which I might try it on. Anyway, just an update. I've got a logic analyzer now. I've got a scope, but it only does two channels. So this does eight channels, this thing, and I've got two of them. So should be pretty fun, I think, and um, yeah, um, I'll be getting on with it. I've got a few things to do in my private life, but I'll be getting on with making the pedal soon. Okay, thank you for watching, and bye-bye.